Hello and welcome to Willow in the Wood. My name is Wendy Pickett. I am a life vision and confidence coach. It is my calling and passion to help you gain the confidence and create a life that brings you joy. If you would like to hear more, please visit willowinthewood.com or email me at wendy at willowinthewood.com with the best number to reach you. I look forward to talking with you soon. I wanted to talk to you today about something that is important in just about every aspect of our lives, which is not giving up, tenacity. When we start a project, it's often normal to feel um, one of two ways. One, you can be super excited because you've got this idea and you want to run with it. And that very soon follows typically with feeling low. It can be one or the other, really, because when you do some deep diving and you're working with a coach and you do some deep diving, you can find out just how bad things are. And I want to remind you, I want to remind my clients that when you start a project, a self-improvement project, it's, it's, it's pretty important for you to get an understanding about where you are, you know, to have a benchmark. Because anytime that you want to accomplish something, you want to go from where you are to where you want to be. Well, how are you going to know the progress you've made unless you actually know where you are? And let's face it, if you're starting something out, if you're starting new, if you're starting working with a coach, or if you're starting um, a weight loss program, if you're starting anything like that, it can be a little disheartening when you first start because you realize just how bad it is. Well, take heart because knowing when you decide to work with something, when you decide to, your life is so uncomfortable that you need to do something different, just that realization can be kind of like a punch in the gut. But face it, you wouldn't be on that journey of growth if you hadn't gotten to a place where you were so uncomfortable with what was happening in your life that you made the decision to make the change. Now also know that when you decide to change, decide on a new workout routine, you decide you're going to eat better, you're gonna do some exercise, Um, You're going to work on personal growth, um, you know, overcoming limiting beliefs and uh, obstacles and blocks. Well, facing those things is difficult. Facing an obstacle that you've not been able to get around, that's tough. It's it's tough because it's, it's, it's a challenge. It isn't just like clear sailing, like I've decided to go this direction. Well, no, there's something in the way. So you're going to need to get past it. So kind of toughen up and decide that. I know it's going to be tough at first, but I'm going to get through it. Now, this is on the beginning end. There is also another part of your journey. It is the sustainability of it because you can get bored you can get frustrated because you're not seeing the change that you want to see. Um, and I know there's plateaus in health um, routines. You know, your body, you could maybe be losing weight. You could be making some progress in your business. You could be growing your business, but then you get to a plateau. At this point, That's where people can get frustrated or just kind of settle in and go, okay, well, I guess this is all it is. Maybe this isn't all I wanted. Well, listen, again, hang tough, have heart, because you've got to push past that plateau. You have to push past that boredom, that um, uh, frustration that you're going through. I'm going to tell you something. People who 
are trying new things, new business people, people who have new ideas for new products and things of that nature, they all get to this point. There is always going to be another obstacle in the way. There is always going to be um, frustration. And that's where almost everybody just quits. They just quit. No, nope, this is too hard. I'm tired. I'm bored. I don't want to do this anymore. Let's just be done. Maybe this just isn't going to work. I just need to do something else. Well, one of the things that I have discovered by trial and error is it's necessary to test out things. Sorry, I have to stop and do some internal deciding what words I'm going to use here. When something doesn't work, we just go, oh, it doesn't work and back away from it. Inventors and people who are creators, they will realize it is a process of discovery, a process of testing new ideas. And it is very difficult when you think you've got it to find out you don't have it. It's you just want to throw your hands up and go, OK, that doesn't work. Let's try something else. Well, on a certain level, that is a correct way of thinking, but not entirely. For instance, I'm working with Facebook ads. You know, we all pull from our own experiences. One of my challenges has been working with Facebook ads, trying to get my message out in front of people who I'm going to be able to help. I've talked to many entrepreneurs and you can spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, tens of thousands on Facebook ads and they won't work. So somebody who doesn't understand the, the system will just say, okay, well, this isn't working. I'm going to try something else. I'll try Instagram or I'll try Google ads or something like that. Well, what you need, just like a good scientist is data. And in order to get data, no matter what it is that you're doing, even if it's the weight loss thing, if it's starting a new business, deciding what kind of a business, if you should move, if you should relocate, if you should end a relationship, if you should start a relationship, all of these things, you need information, you need data. You're going to be able to make better decisions and progress with data and with failing. Now, nobody wants to fail. It's like, no, I'm not doing this to fail, but I've got to tell you, this is part of the process. So get comfortable with failing. Just realize, don't internalize it. Just go, oh, part of the process. Just have to deal with it. I mean, what do you think dating is for? I mean, you don't go out and date one person and go, that sucked. I'm never going to date again. <clears throat> you go and you continually date. And eventually you're going to start finding some um, traits like, oh, well, I like people. I guess I, I, I thought I would like this type of person, but I don't. Or, oh, look at this. This person has this personality trait and I really like that. So now your dating experience, you're going to be more focused on those traits and be able to um, narrow your 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 plan of action. Well, that's what happens with Facebook ads. We find out what works and what doesn't work. And yes, it costs money. In dating, yes, it costs time. In working on your health, excuse me. Sorry about that. In working with your health, you're going to run up against things that don't work. Like you're going, I'm going to jazzercise. I remember back in the day, remember jazzercise? I decided I was going to do jazzercise because they're dancing, they're having fun, yay. Oh my goodness, I thought I was going to die. I worked so hard, so far past my abilities. And the next few days, the next week after that, I just said, never, never, never again. Well, I went about it the wrong way, didn't I? If I would have just been there and just kind of swayed to the music the first, the first day, you know, and did some very slight variances on that. 
then I could improve maybe a little bit. Maybe the next week I could do a little bit of arm work. I mean, look at my arms. I'm talking a little bit of arm work. I'm not going like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's slight. It's slight. Find out what works. Find out what works for you. Another good example of this is when we moved here, I wanted to find a new church. And I remember going to church when I was younger and I was just like, oh, this sucks. I don't like this. I, I, it wasn't anything that resonated with me at all. I, I didn't understand what was happening. The people weren't my people. Well, I, I realized over time that it wasn't that church was bad. It was like that one wasn't right for me. It isn't that dating's bad. It's that that guy wasn't right for me. Um, so the whole process of trying something new is understanding we're going to come up against obstacles. And know that this is not a signal for you to quit. This is not a signal for you to quit. If you want to um, publish a book, and you run up some, against some obstacles with publishers. Don't quit, just realize that's not the right publisher. If you want to relocate, and it, it doesn't matter how much time it takes, you know, you just figure you're gonna go out and look with a realtor a couple times, and you go, oh, well, there's nothing here. No, don't give up. Just realize that those aren't the right things. Becoming better at whatever it is that we want to do. Life, it takes time and we will fail. Those failures are not bad things. They're not. They're just part of the process. I remember when I started my business and I built a website and I worked really super, super hard on it. And I found out later that that wasn't the right way to build a website. And I needed to do something completely different is what I'm trying to say. Instead of feeling bad about all that work that I had done that did not come to fruition, I need to understand that that is just part of the process. All great inventors, I mean, everybody who has made it in their life has failed horribly in the process. I mean, how many times, you know, did you did you go dating before you found your special person? And so this is something that is interesting because in all other areas of our lives, we are used to that. Well, I'm going to try on shoes. I'm going to try on dresses. I'm going to um, look around and, and see which vacation spot I want to go. So I'm curious when it comes to jobs, why do we just accept that first job? Yay, they hired me. Yay, they hired me. Well, that's great. And that will get you through to where you need to be. But this is also part of something that you should be doing evaluating. Is this the right job for me? It, it, can, be, it can be the right job for right now. And you can get to a certain point where it's no longer the right job. So we just blindly accept, I got a job, yay, I'm done. I'd like you to take a look at all the different aspects of your life. And there's gonna be somewhere, yes, you're comfortable, you're good, I'm good where I'm at. Like I found, I found my home, my beautiful, beautiful home. I don't know if I'm gonna be in this home forever, but for right now, this is my perfect home. So this whole message, this whole message is about not giving up, realizing that the beginning of the journey can be exciting or it can be disheartening because you realize how bad things are. Whatever that is, realize that is not where you're going to stay. Where you're at is not where you're going to stay as long as you are moving. Take a step in one direction. If that isn't right, if that is you meet with a failure, that's fine. Step back, have the knowledge that you've gained from that failure. Take another step out. That's okay, take another step out. Don't give up, adjust your sails, change the direction you need to go, 
but you need to be in touch with yourself and what is important to you. Understand your values, what you value in life. And sometimes I run across people who will I ask them, what makes you happy? What is it that you want in life? And they honestly will say, I don't know. I don't know. And that feels wrong. It feels like there's something wrong with you when you just are stuck, you're lost. That's not the case. But there's a couple things you can do. One sounds counterproductive. What makes you happy? I don't know. Okay, well, what ticks you off? What is it that you do not like? What is it you do not want in your life? That is also a way of measuring where you're at. So if you can find out what you don't want in your life, you can move away from it, as opposed to what you want in your life and moving towards it. So that's a, an idea that we just don't think about very often. And we also come up against things that we're just not sure what to do. Look, sometimes the simplest things are the best things. Pad of paper, heading, line in the middle, pros and cons, right? You can do it with men. You can do it with exercise programs. You can do it with jobs. You can do it with everything to help you decide what it is that you want to do. Because just, just you know, um, staying in one place, treading water is what I'm doing here, if you're wondering. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not like a DJ. No, treading water. So get in touch with where you're at and realize you don't have to stay there. Start taking some, some steps out. You know there's things you want to do, and you've been putting them off, haven't you? Well, it's time to take some steps. Don't be afraid. It's going to be just fine. Whether it works or whether it doesn't work, it's going to be just fine. I mean, you're not putting your life in danger. You're not putting your life savings in danger. And if you needed to make really big decisions, it just takes some more thought and maybe some more information and more input. So take a step. Get out there. Don't give up. Just because whatever you're doing hasn't worked so far doesn't mean it's not going to work. It just means that you've got more research to do. So go do it. Go make your life awesome. You guys have a really blessed day, and it's wonderful to see you. All right, that's it. Love you guys.